I bet that most of you can remember a time that you were at a party and your host told you that the delicious dessert you were enjoying was made by a friend or neighbor who works out of her home. This is a very common practice that has its benefits and its drawbacks. Meet Julie. Julie bakes specialty cakes and cookies for sale out of her home. She started doing this for her friends and family and has seen her business grow. She's ready to make this her full-time gig, but she doesn't have commercial baking equipment, uninterrupted kitchen time, a legal production space, permits and documentation, and most importantly, the ability to market and grow her business. At first, it was convenient for Julie to work out of her home kitchen, but now that orders are picking up, her home kitchen is feeling very small. She wants to take her business to the next level, but is nervous about the cost of a commercial kitchen, which could easily cost her $100,000, let alone the challenge of navigating the permitting and documentation process to legalize her business. Julie's story might sound familiar. Take food trucks in Rochester as an example. When my husband Marty opened up his food truck Marty's Meats four years ago, there was only one other food truck in town. Now there are nearly 50 food trucks in Rochester, but there are no more outfitted commercial kitchens for rent now than there were then. Like many small business owners, food truck owners want to grow their businesses, but face challenges in doing so legally. One way to get at solving this problem is the concept of the kitchen incubator. Kitchen incubators have been spreading across the country for the past couple of decades and now number over 200. Now, what is a kitchen incubator? We recently learned about co-working spaces where small businesses are coming together to share their resources in order to minimize their risks and increase their opportunities for creative collisions. A kitchen incubator is like a co-working space plus specialty cooking equipment, commercial kitchens, and the community and business support services needed for food businesses to grow. It's a culinary production facility that can accommodate multiple tenants and is dedicated to the growth of early stage wholesale, retail, and catering food businesses. I'm here today to introduce the Commissary, a kitchen incubator in development for downtown Rochester. The Commissary will be the only kitchen incubator in New York State outside of New York City. We have learned that there's incredibly high demand for outfitted commercial kitchens in our region. This is due in part because shared kitchen operations are illegal in Monroe County. But the health department is allowing us to pursue this project. The commissary will be located on the concourse level of the Metropolitan, the iconic former Chase Tower that we all know at the corner of Maine and Clinton. We've been working on this concept for a not-for-profit kitchen incubator for just over six months. In that short period of time, we've established many important partnerships and have received very positive feedback. We're high on the priority list for uh, state funding for our region, which means that the state is likely to contribute to the construction of this project, but to ensure that the commissary gets off the ground in a timely fashion, we're fundraising now. This later images from a kitchen incubator in Brooklyn. On the left, you see uh, stainless steel prep tables that are available for rent by individual businesses. On the right, you see the shared line of very valuable uh, commercial baking and cooking equipment. Our setup will be very similar. It, uh, members of the commissary will be able to rent fully outfitted, licensed commercial kitchen stations for as short as a few hours or for as long as several months. Our design will allow for up to eight businesses to work at the same time with 24-7 access and on-site staff support. Imagine working side by side, a meal delivery service company sending meals out to downtown uh, residents and workers. There should be animation, but it's fine. Uh, a baker sending, um, a baker sending cookies and muffins out to local coffee shops, a sauce company bottling its signature hot sauce, and a food truck crew headed out to serve lunch. This might all sound chaotic, but 
all, but these businesses working in the same shared space is creating wealth for these companies and is fostering a sense of creativity and community. In addition to access to affordable legal kitchen space, members of the commissary will have access to workshops and mentorship opportunities focused on building knowledge and business acumen within the food industry. The success of the incubator will be measured by the success of its member companies. So saturating them with the tools they need to succeed is key. The commissary will also give the rest of us an opportunity to broaden our culinary skills and our palates. In addition to the workstations, there will be a performance kitchen that will play host to cooking classes, pop-up dinners, chef cook-offs and demonstrations, and other food-centric celebrations. Imagine being able to stop by the commissary every week and having a unique and satisfying experience around food. It might be learning how to make handmade pasta, or enjoying a multi-course dinner from an up-and-coming chef, or being in the audience for a Shark Tank-style event where would-be members of the commissary vie for a place in the kitchen. We will be working with the Rochester Brainery and other local partners to bring these sorts of events to life. Located in the heart of our rapidly transforming downtown, the commissary will play a key role in revitalizing Main Street. Residents seeking a walkable urban lifestyle are already moving downtown at a steady rate. Innovation and creative class companies have relocated their offices here. But national experts have told us that traditional retail will not follow anytime soon. Instead, food will lead the way. We all love to eat, and the more we can do to foster the creation of diverse, high-quality food businesses, the better shot we have of growing the economy and opportunities for everyone. If you have aspirations of starting a food business, if you have a home recipe that you've always wanted to see on the shelves of Weg at Wegmans, consider joining the commissary, where you can test out your concept and the food industry with minimal risk. We won't be opening our doors until the fall of 2017, but in the meantime, we're going to be setting up workshops dedicated to building knowledge for uh, owners and operators of food, of food businesses and those who are considering it. If you want to help a startup food business grow by teaching them about uh, food photography or commercial real estate deals or social media or accounting, we want you to be a mentor. If you want to contribute to the financial success of one of the startup food businesses, you could fund a scholarship. If you're just excited about coming to the commissary for events, that's great. We need your enthusiasm. Food is fun, food is community, and food will grow our economy. I think this is gonna... Hey, look at that. Okay. <laughs> Fast forward a year. Remember Julie? Julie's now a member of the commissary, and she has seen her business grow. She has access to commercial baking equipment, that has allowed her to scale up her recipes and save time. She's attended workshops and received guidance on packaging, branding, and wholesaling. She's now selling her baked goods at specialty stores. She's even begun a collaboration with a fellow member of the commissary where she provides desserts for their catered events. Could you be the next Julie? If so, please feel free to contact me to get involved in any of the ways I just mentioned, and I look forward to seeing you at the commissary. Thank you.